Today we are going to be reviewing the law of conservation of mass and chemical reactions featuring a reaction between baking soda and vinegar. To carry out this reaction, we are going to add baking soda to the balloon and vinegar to the test tube. Our next step is to find the total mass of our reactants. To do this, we will take the mass of the balloon with the baking soda in it and the test tube with the vinegar. So for our reaction, the total mass of our reactants is going to be 108.5 grams. To start the reaction, we are going to secure the balloon over the test tube and then empty the baking soda from the balloon into the test tube. Notice that as soon as the baking soda hits the vinegar, it begins to form a gas and bubbles. We can tell that a gas is being produced because it is being trapped inside of the balloon and causing it to expand. The final step is finding the total mass of our products. In this case, our total mass of products was 108.5 grams. The 108.5 grams in the products is equal to the 108.5 grams in the reactants that we started with. This means that the law of conservation of mass was followed and that we started and ended with the exact same amount. Now, if we did not include the balloon on top of the test tube, then some of our gas that was produced during the reaction could have escaped and maybe wouldn't have been included in the final measurement. If this was the case, we might have ended up with less than the 108.5 grams. This does not mean that any of our products were destroyed during the reaction. It just means that they would have escaped as gas and were not included in the final measurement.